Welcome back. Now, Angolan citizens will witness the inauguration of President-elect Joa Lorenzo following the country's general election that were held on the 24th of August 2022, in which he emerged victorious, securing his second term in office. Now, Lorenzo, who is from the governing party and that ruled the country nearly five decades, claimed victory in much contested election by slightly over 50%, securing MPLS, another rule over the Southern African country. Now, joining us on the line as we discuss this matter is reporter David Theomundo from Public Television of Angola. Good morning, sir, and welcome to GMN. Good morning, God, and thank you for having me in the show. Okay. How, 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 how is the weather this morning in Luanda? I presume you are, we are talking to you all the way from Luanda. Yes, yes, I'm talking from Luanda, and the weather is um, it's quite calm, but it's, it, it started to rain um, at 4 o'clock. Oh, it started to rain. Yes. That is good to hear. Okay, now let, let's dig right into it. We know that Angolan citizens are due to witness the inauguration of the president-elect that will take his term for the second time as the president of the republic. Talk to us about that process. Yeah, um, as you can imagine, um, it has been 30 years since Angola held its um, first election. So there are Angolans who have already voted five times, but there is always a generation that votes for the, for the first time. Uh, for them, it's always um, a reason for a lot of expectation and surprise, but um, it certainly would be would have been a good experience. So uh, it's a story today, um, for especially for the Angolan young democracy. You know, as I said, it has been 30 years since Angola held its first election, uh, and it's the um, fourth, uh, the fourth, the fourth sequential elections. So uh, the expectation is, is 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 big, and so we expect to have a um, strong day again, uh, like we had in 2017. Okay. Now, let's talk about the fact that you're mentioning that for the first time, there are people who are voting for the, for the first time in 30 years' time. Let's talk about that. Let's try and quantify that. Are you able to give us the numbers of how many, especially the young generation, are participating for the first time in this election? Yes, um, so the, the Electoral Commission um, published a list that um, we, we had uh, about 40, for, um, 40 million uh, people registered, you know, but the, the, um, the, the young people did not um, came to, to the polls, you know, uh, because uh, the absence was, uh, was around 51%. Okay, Absolutely. and we think that um, it, it, the reason is why that um, the reason why is, is because uh, the young generation is not um, involved in political, you know, uh, in this time. Okay. Do, do you think that there is an opportunity here that especially the young people have missed out by not participating and to be able to influence possible elections of Angola? Yes, yes, of course, of course, of course. Okay. Now, let's also talk about the, 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 the transition, I mean, the, the inauguration. Normally, when we talk about presidential inaugurations, you would always expect that, you know, there's an outgoing president and there's an incoming president, obviously, like we have seen now in Kenya on Tuesday. But this one is simply the same president who's the president, also the president-elect. So how different is this uh, uh, presidential, uh, uh, I mean, uh, inauguration going to be? Yeah, uh, so uh, as you can you can imagine that it, it will be the first time that um, uh, we have uh, uh, one inauguration without the without the figure or the presence of the of the late president Dos Santos, you know, mm -hmm. um, who passed away last um, July. Yeah. So and um, President Lorenzo is re-elected president, so the inauguration will be a little bit different uh, as it was five years ago. So, but now um, there will be maybe some innovations because um, always this uh, uh, there will be a regular ceremony and with a ceremony that to um, highest level of organization. So um, it, uh, it, there is some curiosity and expectation, and according to the context, context uh, we can always expect some change or innovation in relation to the previous ceremony. Uh, but um, the population is um, uh, is about to to, to 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 be to be there, and 
all uh, they 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 houses uh, following the, the ceremony by radio and by for, for TV. And we are talking about ceremony that should have about in the place about 5,000 people invited, mm. uh, some VIP guests and another people representing the the rest of the environment. Okay. Uh, so it uh, will be uh, a little bit different from the ceremony uh, five years ago, but we we hope that uh, it will be something uh, new. Okay. I know the, the people of Angola can definitely know how to samba and party, so definitely I think we'll be looking out for those visuals once uh, the ceremonies have taken place. Now, let, let's talk about that. You know, um, what has been the sentiments of the citizens, especially towards the finalization of the election, and now that we are heading towards the inauguration? What is the feeling amongst the people of Angola? So, the feeling is, is, um, uh, is uh, of uh, expectation. Uh, it, it was like the, it was like uh, during the, the voting day on the 12th of, of August. Uh, there was a certain fear about um, people behaviors that uh, what it would be, but in the, in the end things went well. So the police and the army were ready to secure the process, and there were no problems. So, however, today is, is the point, um, in, in Portuguese we say point of tolerance, it's a day off. Okay. Yes, uh, today is, is a day off, nobody will go to work and nobody goes to school. So people uh, will still uh, at home uh, and will follow the ceremony on radio and on TV. Uh, the problem was um, still... Uh, Yet, yet, still, uh, yesterday was about um, the point of uh, UNITA leader uh, Alberto Junior, who yesterday uh, confirmed that um, uh, they will take place in the parliament. So um, they did not um, accept the results. Uh, but uh, yesterday at night, they, they uh, Alberto said that uh, UNITA will take place in the parliament and will. Uh, Join the process, and that, uh, uh, according to him, uh, that's the way that they can contribute to the democracy in mm. Angola. Okay. So uh, it was um, some expectation about um, some demonstrations or rallies uh, today. But um, after this pronunciation of Alberto Costa Jr., the leader of UNITA, and people is um, calm now, and so we don't expect to to see any any demonstration or something like that. No, no, I think that's a very good overtaking that we don't expect any electoral conflict related and deaths that would be unfortunate. That's actually was a, my next question to ask you on whether or not you need to have decided to challenge the, the, the election in terms of the court, but for you, if you're indicating that they have indicated that they will partic participate in the parliamentary election, then it presumes that, you know, obviously they will form part of the government moving forward. Now, as we begin to conclude our conversation, l let's, let's talk about how this election has been a bit different from the rest, besides the fact that you mentioned that, you know, new people voted for the first time, but how is it different, you know, from the previous one, really? How is it different in terms of the Angolan politics and the nature of handling Angolan politics? So, um, as we, we can see, the, differ the, the, the major difference is that um, MPLA, uh, MPLA, is uh, still, 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 um, um, how can I say, it's still losing um, seats in Parliament, you know. Uh, from five years ago, they, oh, they, they lost um, uh, almost uh, more than 10%. So, and it was a very slight victory uh, this year. Oh. It was the first election without the presence of the figure or the intervention, uh, direct intervention of uh, late President Dos Santos. And because uh, Adalberto was uh, was talking to the young people, to the young uh, to, to the young voters, uh, and I think that it uh, it um, the, the another strategy from 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 the from the opposition was to to to, to try to 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 join them uh, all of them around one 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 candidate. Mm. So they they formed what they called. Um, uh, for FPU, uh, that is the um, Patriotic Fr uh, Front, uh, United Front Patriotic Front, 
uh, Datum Joint Unita. And so it, it uh, make, made a very big difference in, this, in these elections. So the spectacular now is about the, um, the political role in, in the parliament because uh, this, uh, this group of, of UNITA that took uh, in this election 90 seats, uh, 90, uh, 90 seats, um, is joined by uh, a lot of people from the, um, from the civil society, you know, not, uh, not traditional um, uh, political from, the, from, 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 from UNITA, but from civil society who joined the UNITA in this, in this project of, uh, that they called um, Patriotic, uh, United Patriot, Patriotic Front. Oh. So uh, they, they, they will take the place in the parliament, they will participate in this, in, in this political process from the, 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 the next five years. And so the, the expectation is uh, how MPLA will, will lead uh, this, um, this, this term uh, with a slight majority, a very slight majority, and so in some in some of the principal issues in the parliament, they will be obliged to to negotiate with um, with the opposition. That is the the main uh, expectation in the in the political uh, 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 political scene in, in Angola. Okay. Uh, on the top, let's, I wanted to most, most possibly perhaps ask you on the composition in terms of the structure of the Angolan parliament. How many seats are we talking about? What is the percentage in terms of uh, uh, law that is required in order for you to pass law, to make legislation? And will the president, have out, will the president and his party have outright majority in terms of legislation? Yeah, it's... Um you know, for, for example, uh, the, the parliament, uh, the Angolan parliament is formed by uh, 220 seats. Uh, MPLA uh, will take 124, uh, UNITA 90, and three other small parties uh, will take two each. So uh, MPLA would, would need about uh, one, uh, 130 to to pass the 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 the, 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 the propose you know, you know but the case now um, MPLA cannot cannot um, uh, work on maybe and um, on the constitution uh, issues so they would need uh, the collaboration of the opposition no. uh, so that's the the main the main gain from the opposition no, okay now, uh, as we are about to round up this conversation, talk to us about the fact that the president will take his uh, oath, of, of, oath of office for the second time as president. Uh, let's talk about especially the expectations from the people of Angola. They have voted, perhaps they have indicated that perhaps maybe they are not happy with things are happening. But what are their expectations, the fact now that he's taking his, his second term? What will he be possibly be focusing on? So the expectation is that um, President Lorenzo uh, can can see can be more uh, can, can 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 be uh, more open for 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 the for the people claims you know but people are um, are also satisfied uh, you know uh, and support uh, most of the um, President Lorenzo's um, politics like the fight fight um, against corruption. Uh, and uh, so that they, 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 they expect that it uh, will continue. And so uh, they expect that Ms. Lorenzo can also um, change some politics about economics, you know, uh, and, and to, be, to, to be more collaborative with the um, opposition. So that's the, 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 the most expectation. Okay. Okay. Now, finally, uh, how is the mood between the Dos Santos family and the current government? Seeing that there was a brawl concerning the burial, you know, all those six in terms of structuring of the election, has anything changed, perhaps, in your final remarks? Also, oh, till now, it's still it's still uh, the same point, you know. And President Lorenzo, the Angolan government, uh, just does uh, just um, say that. They have nothing uh, personally with uh, the Santos family, 
So they were allowed to to come to to Angola to participate to to the ceremony to the ceremony, but um, uh, some some of the um, the stands of uh, especially daughters of President Dos Santos uh, did not um, uh, came because they 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 they, 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 they say that they feel that they could be arrested uh, or something like that. But President Lorenzo uh, stated personally that um, they they could come and to take uh, part of the ceremony as the, the another uh, families came, you know, uh, the Santos um, brothers and sisters and nephews uh, came. So uh, the President Lorenzo still saying that the problem with uh, some of the some of the Santos families is uh, with the justice, not with MPLA or with the president. So they can come to to take uh, to, to to have their, their normal life in Angola. And so, if they 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 feel that they are being the uh, I, I can say um, um, so uh, I don't have the, the word now. But uh, they, they have to, to fight injustice, you know, uh, not against the uh, MPLA or against uh, President uh, Lorenzo. Uh, so the question now is, how will uh, how how long they will still uh, um, far from Angola reality and try to, to fight the Angola government from 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 overseas? Uh, so President Lorenzo says that. Um, there are no problem with uh, two such family. Okay. No, no, no. Thank you very much for making time to join us this morning and just inform us and share with us the expectations of the Angolan people and also that process of the inauguration of President Jose Lorenzo, which is due to take place very soon. João Lorenzo. <laughs> João Lorenzo. Okay. So, and um, the another, the another curiosity of that, uh, just just to, to 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 finish, is that we we will have um, deputy president who who, who is a uh, woman for the first time. Uh, so this this is the the the, the major uh, curiosity from today. And um, Namibian authorities are also uh, between uh, VIP guests. Uh, so we expect to, to to have today in the um, Republic Square. President uh, Herr Gengob, mm. uh, so who, who is always um, with us. Okay. No, no, thank you very much for joining us this morning. I mean, wish you all the best, the Angolan people, with the inauguration. Okay, not, uh, thank you for having me in this show in this Namib uh, Good Morning Namibia. And so feel free to call me again during the day if uh, you want uh, some another um, uh, contribute. Okay. No, I will tell the, the back colleagues in the background if they need more information to reach out to you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Now, that was uh, Mr. David Theum from the Public Television of Angola talking to us about the expected inauguration of President Joao Lorenzo that is due to take place in a matter of hours and also talking to us about the expectations of the Angolan people with the second term of the president-elect. Now, do stay tuned. When we get to come back, we get to talk about women and youth conference related to issues of agriculture and the Africa continental trade.